Hello, my name is James Chirillo. I'm going to speak a little bit now about what and how to practice to get an even quarter note so you can play good rhythm guitar in the style of Freddie Green because that's what it's all about. It's quarter notes, certainly not eighth notes. I wrote this entire exercise on the Freddie Green website, Freddie with an I-E, green like the color, one word, freddiegreen.org. There's a couple of essays by me, and in the second one, I, I detail out exactly what I'm going to demonstrate here. So you can reference that at your own leisure. So I'm going to start out with my metronome, start at, starting at 80. I don't have a little personal recorder here, but make sure you have a small little recorder, some kind of recorder that you can record on and play back immediately with as little fuss as possible. Something just really easy to do. Because you're going to record what you do and then listen back immediately. So I'm going to have this thing set, my metronome at 80, and I'm going to play half notes, looking at this 80 click as a quarter note. So every two that go by, I'm going to try to match that thing right on up. And what I'm going to do is one octave, say an F major scale, one octave's worth ascending and descending. If you do, say, much more than that, say you try to do a couple of octaves worth, or you sit there and you, you practice for like five minutes before you check what you did, chances are you just spent five minutes practicing it wrong. We're really trying to hone in a sense of an even beat. When I first start playing, I'm going to play half notes, so two clicks are going to go by. Of course, I'm going to be mentally articulating that inside click, even with this metronome. So I'll play you one octave up and down. I'll try to do it, say, right on the nose going up, and then I'll get off just a little bit coming back down, see how lucky I get. So you can hear the difference, because we're really talking fine points. When I first started trying to do this, when I thought I'd been playing evenly, I really wasn't. So it's a lot harder to learn something where you've got an ingrained bad habit than it is off a clean slate. But it is possible. You just got to put in 10 times as much practice and concentration, unrelenting concentration. OK, 80. And before I start. I'm going to say the prayer that a good bass player that I knew since passed away always used to open up his day with, which was, Lord, let my quarter notes be even today. But I'm playing half notes. We'll start there. See, I'm, I'm even moving my head only because I'm feeling the quarter note. Let's try playing some quarter notes and uh, mixing it up with some half notes. Same thing, one octave up, one octave down. And you're constantly dup, 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 dup. It's sort of like when I'm playing rhythm, I almost have that going on in my head the whole time. So. late, a little bit late there. Not bad. I played some whole notes at the end. When you're playing a whole note, you got to keep that rhythm going in your head. It's the same kind of thing. Okay, now we're going to set the metronome to 40 and try to play those half notes just like we did before. So I'm going to play one note to every click at 40. So I'm going to mentally articulate that click in the middle of the beat 
that I was getting before when I had this thing set at 80. And you'll notice there's a lot of room to jump into between each beat. So before I start, I'm even, I'm listening to this and I'm putting that middle click right in there. So I'm only going to be playing half notes. One note for every click. When you're practicing this, as soon as you do that one octave up and down, listen back to it on your recorder. And you'll see exactly where you're, pl you'll hear exactly where you're placing those things. And a slow half note like that, that's one of the hardest things to do. It seems like micromanagement, but you know how many, say, vocal ballads or instrumental ballads that we have to play? that are exactly that tempo, 80 or sometimes even 60 to the quarter note. Those are the half notes the bass player is playing. He's got to get that together. And we've got to be able to play those half notes and those quarter notes in between just as even. I've got some further variations of that exercise where we set it at 60. And it's all referenced in that letter on the Freddie Green website. Good luck. Happy playing.